Are you tired of constantly seeking approval from others? Do you often feel like you're not enough? Well, I'm here to tell you that you absolutely are more than enough in the eyes of God. He loves you infinitely. In this video, I'm going to show you three powerful ways to receive validation from the only one that you'll ever need it from, God. And stay till the end because I'm going to be giving you my best tip on how to stop seeking any type of validation outside of you ever again. I'm Alana Palm, Christian trauma release and mind renewal specialist, and I help women release trauma and renew their mind so they can rest in God. And today I'm going to help you find validation from him and not what the world says about you. I am so glad you're here with me today, taking this step toward healing. This journey might seem tough, but remember, we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us, right? So... I know you might feel inadequate, like you might have these thoughts that you're always falling short and that you're not good enough, something's wrong with you. But I want you to think about where is this feeling coming from? Is it from God or is it from a voice from the past in your life, a voice that's presently speaking into your life? Or is it from the world around you and who the world tells you that you're supposed to be? I want you to remember that we live in a society that thrives on comparison and competition, but God's kingdom operates very differently, right? In his eyes, you are perfect just as you are, because when he looks at you, he sees his son. When you have given your life to him, he sees you as this like perfectly covered human being because you are covered by the blood of Jesus. The Bible tells us in Psalm 139, 14, I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know this full well, right? And I want you to take a moment to just say that about yourself, right? I am fearfully and wonderfully made. God, your works are wonderful. I know that full well. I am made in your image, Lord. And God made you unique and special and extraordinary. Nobody else in this world is like you. And it doesn't matter what people think about you or what they say about you, nothing can change what's already true about you. And when we base our worth and value on other people's validation, we actually give them control over our happiness. It's like we take our heart out and we hand it to someone and say, please please take care of me, please take care of my heart. And maybe you can massage it a bit and tell me how wonderful I am. And then we were like, oh no, and now I'm scared because they don't approve of me and we take it back and then we try to hand it to the next person. And, or we just shut off completely and we don't wanna hand it to anyone ever again. So we just close it off. We close off all of our feelings and we don't want other people to tell us anything about ourselves because we're so afraid of rejection and abandonment. And here's my question to you. Why are you handing that power? Power over to someone else, right? Why not claim it for yourself, knowing that your value comes from God alone, right? So just take a moment to reflect on the story of Mary and Martha. Martha was frustrated and overwhelmed because she was seeking validation through her works, right? But Mary knew that sitting at Jesus's feet and listening to his words was what truly mattered. So like Mary, we need to focus on God's voice amidst the noise of the world. He is the only validation we need. His voice is the only one we need to listen to. We are literally working for an audience of one, right? And that fear, that worry, that pain you're experiencing, that is all real, right? And that is important to pay attention to. We don't wanna ignore our feelings and push them away and not deal with them. That is not healthy. So many of us struggle with that, right? We think our emotions are very scary and overwhelming. So we do get to embrace them. We get to move through them. But those emotions, they're somewhat separate from you, right? They don't define who you truly are. You are one with Christ. That is your identity. Your emotions are a part of your daily experience, but they do not define who you are. So it is time to break the chains, to step into God's love and embrace the peace and rest that he offers, right? And so maybe you're asking, how do I do that, Alana? Well, you do it by immersing yourself in God's word, <clears throat> by coming into agreement and alignment with his truth, reading scriptures, praying, not just to talk to God and, and say, God, this is what I want, this is what I'm thankful for, that's great, but 
what are you hearing him say? Pray in a way of um, listening, have a posture of being open to what he wants to reveal to you and spend time in worship of him, right? Whether it's a beautiful worship song you put on or just a posture of gratitude to God of you are so good, God, like I trust who you are. Your character is good. No matter what happens in my life, you are good. And just reminding yourself of how much he loves you. God, thank you for your love for me, your unconditional love that does not change. No matter what I do, what I think, what I feel, you have given me an inherent worth and value based in you, God, not in who I am and what I do, but in you and what you sent your son to do for me. So I want you to remember that this is so important, coming into agreement with his truth. This is a powerful tool. I want you to repeat after me, through Christ, I am enough. So you get to say it either out loud or in your mind. And then I want you to say, through Christ, I am loved. Go ahead and say it. Through Christ, I am worthy. So did you say it? Did you say those things? Or did something come up for you that made you not want to say them? Maybe you're with someone else right now and maybe you can't say it out loud, but did you at least think them? Because I want you to say these things to yourself every day. Through Christ, you are loved, you are worthy, and you are enough. Through Christ, you have everything you need. That's why it's so important for us to give our life over to him and continue to surrender ourselves to him every day right? To crucify our flesh and say, Lord, my body, my mind, my heart is yours, right? So say these things to yourself every day and let his truth sink into your soul, right? And I also encourage you to surround yourself with people who uplift you, not those who bring you down. And I know sometimes we'll get feedback from people and they're, they're going to speak truth into our lives, which is really great. You want to have friends who speak the truth in love. But if you have people that are giving you feedback from a place of judgment and condemnation, no, that's not of God. So create a support system of fellow believers who can guide and encourage you on this journey. So finding you know, other people who are in this realm of, you know what, like I've struggled in my life with some of these insecurities and fears, and I really want to embrace who God says I am, my identity and worth in him, right? You want people who can encourage you on this journey. And remember, transformation doesn't happen overnight. It is a process and it is a step-by-step -step process that we go through for the rest of our lives, right? Transformation can help us come into greater agreement and alignment with God's truth. It can help us abide in him. We can be transformed. Our mind and heart can be transformed more and more each day, the way he sanctifies us and the way he purifies us and refines us. And it is a process. It is a journey, right? that does not stop until the day we die. So every step you take brings you closer to overcoming your fears and worries when you come into agreement with God's truth. So remember, you are enough. It is not based on what you do. It is not based on what others think of you. It's not based on what others say about you or what you think they're thinking about you. It is based on the fact that you are a child of God. You have accepted Christ into your heart and you are made new. You are washed clean. So. When you get into that cycle of what is that person thinking of me oh my goodness i feel like i'm not accepted and we we kind of get into this realm of like fear and worry about what are they thinking what if i'm not included what if i'm not accepted right we want that validation from outside of us we get to embrace our divine worth like you get to sit there and say i am worthy because christ made me worthy Right. So again, I want you to say, if you haven't said it yet, I'm going to give you another opportunity. And I want you to do this every day through Christ. I am enough through Christ. I am worthy through Christ. I am loved. We have everything we need through Christ. It's already been given to you. You just need to claim it. You need to receive it. It's already there. When you have accepted him into your heart, his Holy Spirit comes into you and you are all of these things. It is made fully available to you. If you're not fully accepting it, I want you just to question why. So I wanna thank you for joining me today. And I want you to remember you're loved, you're worthy, you are enough in God's eyes. And 
I just really encourage you to sit in his truth, come into agreement and alignment with what he says instead of what the world says. If you liked this video, please subscribe to this channel. We will be putting out resources for you about renewing your mind and resting in God, how to release the pain and the trauma that has held you back in order to really experience everything God has already given you. So be blessed. I'm sending you so much love and I'll see you soon.